because I really believe that God works in mysterious ways and whoever's mm-hmm. supposed to see it will see it. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? He always brings it to you. He always is, he's always answering you without him himself. Like mm-hmm. he sends things to me and like you got to you've got to be the one listening. You right. got to hear it and take it for what it is. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Okay. That, like, it makes sense. And the reason why I always ask a lot of certain questions is because nowadays everybody's stuck on their phones on YouTube watching videos and kids, adults, everybody. And people are going through different situations and not sure how to handle it. So mm-hmm. if you can speak through these cameras to someone and educate them on how to handle a certain situation, that's the reason why I like to ask certain questions because cool. I really believe that God works in mysterious ways and whoever's mm-hmm. supposed to see it will see it. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? He always brings it to you. He always is, he's always answering you without him himself. Like mm-hmm. he sends things to me and like I, you got to you've got to be the one listening. You right. got to hear it and take it for what it is. So with that situation that you were talking about, um, if I'm getting it correctly, some people can even look at it and be like, well, you switched up. You know, because some people feel that. feel that way, although they might not know the full story. They're like, oh, she acting like such and such, you know, because you're distancing yourself right. from certain people. But you know that it's it's in your best interest. For so long, I feel like I poured into everybody else mm-hmm. and I still do pour into a lot of people. But it's time to pour into me mm-hmm. because it's like I always think about other people and, and but I'm and, and seeing I always just think of other people mm-hmm. and it's like, well, who's going to take care of me? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, wait, I need to stop looking for someone to take care of me and take care of me myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that's when I realized I could be the breadwinner. I could be the go getter. Like, I, like you know, they're always like, find you a rich man. And right, I right. was looking. I was looking. I was like, I need a rich man. I need exactly. Rich man. I was like, and I've like heard someone be like, I am the rich man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't that feel good? Not I to love have to that. worry. Yeah. Like to to know you have it because you can do it. But if we're being completely honest, like I just always. I, I don't know how to explain it. I just always felt special, like almost like chosen, but I didn't know what for or I didn't know why. And like today, I don't know why, but like I'm definitely, I feel chosen. Like I feel special. It just radiates and I, mm-hmm. I can see people, you know, they gravitate towards it. And mm-hmm. I love that feeling if we're being honest. And everybody's special in their own ways. Just that people, um, as you get older, you realize what your gift is. Because mm-hmm. as not everybody's blessed enough as kids to know. Some kids do know what their gift is at a young age, and they grasp it and run with it. But as they get older, you know, a lot of people realize as you get older and develop what your gift in life is. And God opened your eyes to that, and you're able to use that to help others. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.